Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. Uh, wife and kids are away for a little bit, visiting her, her dad, which means I have a few extra spare minutes at night. So, let's start with what we finished today. Another Chola Cactus. For those who can't tell, let me hold it over here in the light. It's actually blue resin. Uh, the funny thing is, I mixed I mixed a little white in uh, white sparkle in with it or whatever it's called um, pearlescent and because of that and because of the fact that no matter what you do on this there's always little bubbles um, in the hole because um, even though chola cactus is like a skin it also has um, like multiple layers and the outside layer is you don't clean it off you clean it off on the wood but you don't clean it off in the holes so it's it's very porous um two times i've done this in a pressure pot um i've gotten you know i've gotten the uh the bubbles uh they're small but they're there and they're right around the edge uh, of the holes where the um whatever you want to call it the second bark is if you will uh what I really like is I like this mosaic thing. Hopefully it'll focus on that. That's actually, the resin has leaked and seeped through what used to be a branch on the Chola cactus. Um, this was, you'll remember I made the first one and send it on. Well, I had three or four people line up immediately and want one. And uh, I said, I might make one, might make two more. I don't know. When I stop making them, I stop making them. But anyway, this one is already spoken for. <clears throat> and it'll head on out here soon. Uh, hopefully the new owner likes it. But like I said, it's blue resin. And because of the bubbles and uh, little pearlescent, it, it instead of looking blue, it, it almost looks turquoise. Or it looks, if you've ever been to Sulphur Springs, uh, like at Yellowstone or everything, there's like a dark blue in the center or a dark color in the center and then it, where it's deep and then it uh, gradually turns lighter as it goes out. And that's, that's the effect here. Now you, you probably have to look at the pictures to see a better effect and I'll include the pictures in my Facebook post. But anyway, uh, next time around, I'm going to try something different. See if I can get rid of some of these bubbles. I'm going to try it with, a. Uh, Instead of a pressure pot, I'm going to put it in a vacuum chamber um, and see what happens. Uh, see if I can get more bubbles out or see, you know, when you put some resins, when you put them in a vacuum chamber, they pull the vacuum on them, uh, the resins cure faster. So they don't necessarily let all the, let all the, um, let all the bubbles out. The, the other problem that you have with a vacuum chamber is a pressure pot is almost instant because you plug the nozzle in and within seconds you're at pressure especially if you've got a good compressor vacuum on the other hand it takes it a minute for those pumps to pull down the the vacuum that you need um, hopefully I can get enough vacuum pull to let the bubbles out before the resin starts to cure even though I've got the long, the 15 minute resin, um, it starts to harden up by about six or seven minutes. So you mix it, you pour it, got to drop it in the, have the vacuum chamber already and drop it in. But in the meantime, this one's good to go. And I, I like the way it came out. You know, it's, it, you, you envision something and it doesn't quite come out like you envision. But then if you put that envisioning away, and you look at it for what it came out, you realize, you know what, this is really cool. It's different from what I initially imagined, but definitely came out really cool. I love Chola Cactus. And while I was at the knife show, uh, Blade this weekend, this past weekend, I saw that uh, Buck Knives for their top sellers uh, made Chola Cactus handled steak knives. And it was like a reward and I looked at that and I realized that their resin came out similar to what I was doing and and it, it it had a certain appeal to it. So 
that's what I'm that that's what I'm starting to I'm starting to learn what can and can't be done with resin. I'm no expert. There's guys out there been pouring resin for decades. Uh, they're the ones you want to ask for fine-tuned stuff. For me, I'm just fooling around and having fun and trying not to get killed by the pressure pot. Anyway, hope you guys like this. Sorry I went into building mode instead of introduction mode. Take care.